Good morning guys, how are we doing? Today is the 17th of May 2021. I'm going to open up the polytunnel. <laughs> yes, I know, I missed my video yesterday morning, but you know what? I needed a day off. I needed a day of just chilling and trying to do my stuff. doesn't mean that the day is going to go any easier for anything. I ended up having a full-blown Aspie meltdown in the middle of Asda. I was only in there for 10 minutes. And for those of you who don't get it, Asperger's and autism doesn't end at 18. I'm just saying. And it's bad enough for five-year-olds it's embarrassing enough for 10 year olds when it happens but for those of us who are like in our 40s can you imagine what it's like for us <laughs> it's awful so I'm not gonna let you see this oh oh yes well I just found a sucker I'm gonna have to take it off with just I am starting to struggle a bit with the whole sucker thing because I don't want to lose them okay so yeah it is difficult so I spent the rest of my day we, we'd gone to the okay I'm gonna tell you what happened okay because basically we'd gone to the supermarket like you do because people need things and we'd gone Tanya had taken me early because he thought that was the best thing so we went, it was like 8.30 in the morning. It literally took me 10 minutes to get in the door and up one section in the fruit and veg. That's after we'd avoided another aisle. And because of the way that people had been behaving going up that aisle, And honestly, he took off. He went on to the next section. Do you know how, like in, in England, the fruit and veg, well, all the oils are cut into two or three bits, okay? So that it's easier to cut down half a one sort of thing. So he got up to the next bit, which is where the reduced fruit and veg is, which is where we get a lot of our fruit and veg from. And it took me another 10 minutes to get to him. I'm not even kidding. Well, now, what, what did it, it took me 10 minutes to get to him there. So I'd been in the shop for a full like 10, maybe 15 minutes at tops took me 10 minutes to get to him because people kept throwing themselves in front of me or look at or, you know or trying to go around me and stuff like this I had one of those little mobility cart things because it's easier for me in there and yesterday I was struggling some days I will grab a trolley and I will walk but yesterday I was struggling and people were just being so ignorant um, so by the time I got to him, and then he said, okay, well, we need to go up to the next section, he crossed over the next bit of main aisleway in the supermarket, and I was stuck there, because people kept le leaping in front of me, not letting me get past. I had one woman with her teenage daughter who literally shoved herself in the way between me and the shelf so that I couldn't get there and it was like I'm done I can't keep doing this so poor Tanny had to get me out because that's when I lost it I completely lost it and yeah, he had to get me out, and he did, bless his heart, he got me out.
blueberries. <laughs> Um. Oh. So then I got to the car. So we'd been there twenty minutes. I hadn't done anything. I'd literally gone back to the car. Trying to get out was an even bigger nightmare. So I ended up sleeping most of yesterday when I got home because I just couldn't. And that usually happens after a meltdown, is you tend to go to sleep. But today is a new day. I'm feeling a lot better and a lot more rested today, which is a good thing. I've got a few surprises that I want to show you guys. So I'm going to do a video today, out in the garden. There's a lot of things happening in the garden. So yeah. It's been a bit of a week. But you know what? Today is Saturday and it's a new day and we can carry on. And we can't expect to have control over everything in our lives. You know, we just have to keep it going. I mean, I'm a lot better off in a lot of ways because I am an adult. I can voice my needs to a degree and be listened to to a degree. But children in the same circumstances are just seen as bad children. And they're not bad children, they're just frustrated children that just need help. But please remember if you do see someone who is a little bit older, having older than a child having a meltdown in the middle of the supermarket, don't stand there and look and throw yourselves in front of them. Obviously they're in distress and they're trying to get to the exit. Or just calm down. They don't need you leaning all over them. They don't need you leaping in front of them. They need you to give them space. And if you are around someone with a trolley or a mobility scooter in the supermarket, don't think that running in front of them to get past quickly is a good thing. One, you could injure them if they have to stop quickly. And two, they could have been sitting there for a goodly time because other people have been doing the same thing. Have some respect. I don't understand what was going on yesterday morning. People were insane. And at 8.30 on a Friday morning, the shops were mental. We even went to a different supermarket because they thought that it was only the one particular supermarket that people went to that first time on a Friday morning. Apparently we were wrong. Anywho. I have exciting things happening in the garden. I will show you guys later on. Have an awesome, awesome day, whatever you're doing. Don't let the moids get you down. I love you guys heaps. Blessings. <laughs>